Hey guys, this lesson is going to go over making complete graphs. So in chapter 3, you're going to be expected to uh, make a complete graph and make sure you have all the elements of making a complete graph. So we're going to kind of go over some things. So you do need to take notes. I suggest you just take notes at the end where I show you what you all need to have for a complete graph. So just watch the examples until then. All right, so first thing, I have this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 1. When you make a complete graph, the first thing that you need to do is label both the x and the y-axis. So you can see I just did that. Okay, the next thing that you need to know when you're making a graph, so if you're just graphing a, an equation like this, you need to make sure that if it's linear, you should connect it. Okay, and you guys know this step already. You should also extend it and put arrows on the end because it keeps going. We didn't do every point. We just did some. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to do. The next thing that you guys need to make sure you do is you need to label any special points. So we need to label the coordinates of the special points. So here is one special point. Okay, you can kind of see. Let me get that a little bit better. So you can see it right here. Here's one special point. Another special point is right here, actually. Okay, so the two special points, um, this one is the y-intercept. The coordinates are 0, 2. So I'm going to label that right by the point. This coordinate right down here, that's actually called the x-intercept. Okay, and the coordinates of that are 1, 0. So those are the two special points. All right, another thing that you're going to be expected to label is right on the line, you should actually label the equation of the line. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to label right on the line y equals negative 2x plus 1. So right on the line I label the equation. Okay, now this is a, almost a complete graph. The only thing I would need to add is if I was counting by something, um, something weird or something different, I would want to label the axes. So I'm just counting by ones, so I don't need to label those. If I wasn't, I would want to label those. All right, so another thing that we need to kind of look at is when we're making a graph. So I'm going to have my x and my y axis labeled. Okay, now I want you to kind of notice something as I label a couple of things. So I'm going to put 2 here, 3, 5, 6, 7, okay? And then here I'm going to go 5, 10, 11, 12. All right, now I did a couple things wrong on this graph here. And you might kind of notice it. So first of all, you guys know in the corner, you can't just start at 2. Okay, this is not 2 in the middle here. This is the origin at 0, 0. So I should have started 0. You can't just put 2 here to start with. So even if I had put 0 here, there's something else wrong down here. So I started with 2, 3, and then I skipped to 5. You can't just skip a number. You actually need to count by something. If you're counting by 1s, you need to start with 1. You can't just start at 2. So I would have needed to put 1 right here, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now in the other way, okay, so maybe this is 0, and then I went up to 5, 10, so far that's okay, but then I went to 11 and 12. Again, you cannot do that. You have to decide what you're going to count by. All right, so that's one thing that is incorrect. Okay, so another thing that um, sometimes you might see is when you have a graph, so I'm just going to draw another one inside here. So just kind of ignore that other one. I'm just going to do it on the same page. Okay, if I have a graph inside here, and I'll just label x and y again. And maybe I go like this. So here's 0. And then I do 2. Okay, then I did 4, 6, 8. Okay, do you notice anything wrong about how I'm counting down here? Okay, there's something incorrect. All right, so if you look here, I had 0 right in the corner. And then I didn't skip any lines and I went 2. If I don't skip any lines between 0 and 2, I can't skip this line between 2 and 4. I should have had my 4 right here. This should be 6. Okay, so if you have to make sure you're being careful when you count. Now, if I go like this, if I skip a line and I do 5, skip a line, 10, that's okay because I'm following the same pattern. Okay, so just make sure when you're counting by something, you're a little bit careful.
All right, and we have one more thing to kind of kind of talk about here. All right, the last thing we need to talk about is when we're working with discrete and continuous graphs. So I got my graph, it's labeled X and Y, and let's say that I'm graphing t-shirt sales. All right, and I, I'm going to put how many shirts I sell down here across the X and then the, how much money it costs across the Y. Okay, so let's say I just, I'm counting by ones, so I'm just going to label it so you know what I'm counting by. And then let's say every shirt costs 10, so I'm going to count by tens going up here. Okay, so the first thing, my graph is pretty complete so far. I have my labels, I have a title, all right, and then um, I also kind of decided what I was counting by, so now I'm going to graph. So I'm going to put zero t-shirts that cost zero dollars. One t-shirt costs 10 bucks, two costs 20, three costs 30, four costs 40, five costs 50. Now, before we probably would have connected this, but we have to think about, is this discrete or is it continuous? So when you're thinking about that, you need to kind of think, um, is there actually a point in between here? Are there points in between here? Can you actually buy one and a half t-shirts or two and a half t-shirts or three and a half t-shirts? No, you can't. So it actually does not make sense to con connect this line. So it is discrete. So we should not connect this line because of what the situation is. Okay, I do know that this pattern is going to keep going though, so you could kind of just put an arrow on the end of it that says it keeps going. It just, there's no points in between, so that's why we don't connect it. So you need to make sure you check, um, is your graph discrete or continuous? And if it's continuous, connect it. Discrete, don't connect it. All right, so now that I have shown you guys um, what all needs to be in a complete graph, we should probably write some of these down. So why don't you go ahead, you do need to take some notes on this now. So complete graphs need to have a couple things. So first thing I'm gonna list is if you're making a graph that deals with like a situation, you need to have um, titles and a label. Okay, so if you're dealing with a graph like of how many t-shirts you sold or how many miles you ran or something, you need to have titles and a label. You also need to always label the X and Y axis. Okay, so please make sure you label the X and Y axis. You put your titles, you put your label, um, and then you need to decide is the graph discrete or continuous. Make sure you decide that um, and then connect the line if it is. Or if it's not, then don't connect it. Okay, second thing, you need to make sure you count by something and you need to label it. Okay, so if you're counting by ones, twos, you need to make sure you label that on your graph. So whatever you're counting by, please make sure you label it. Next thing that we need to think about when we're graphing is you need to um, label special points on your line. So any special points you should label. Those special points include the y-intercept and the x-intercept. Okay, so any special points you should label the coordinates of those. Okay, you should also label the equation on the line. So if you're graphing a line or, or a parabola, you should label the equation on the graph. So right on the graph, you should be labeling that equation. All right, next thing that you need to make sure you look for, um, if you're drawing a line, so connect, if you're graphing an equation or a parabola, connect the, um, the points. Okay, and please make sure you extend your line and you put arrows on the end. So make sure you extend it and you put arrows on it. And then the last thing I just want to mention is if when you're counting by something, make sure you scale it and space it out evenly. 
Okay, so I just want to draw you a, a quick little picture of this in a second, but make sure you scale or space it out evenly so it makes sense. So I'll show you what that looks like here after you get that written down. All right, so here's what I just mean by this real quick. So if I was counting here and I went like, okay, here's two, there's four, there's six, and if I went, oh, way over here is two, Okay, this graph would not be very good because look how I look how I spread the numbers out. I did not space them very evenly. Like from here to here, that was two, and then this was two. That's not the same amount of space, so that's not right. Same thing here, from zero all the way to two. That's kind of a big, big jump there. Um, so I didn't space it very evenly. All right, so these are the things that make up a complete graph, and you need to know these things. So make sure you have notes. And then you can go ahead and fill out the form.